Welcome back to Storytime today. My name's Karen and today's story is all about a king and a cook. In fact, it's called The Cook and the King and it's been written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by David Roberts and the publisher is Macmillan. So thanks to those guys for letting me share the story. Shall we see what happens in The Cook and the King? Sure there's a story in here somewhere. There we go. Fits. There once was a very hungry king who needed a cook like anything. I think he's fed up his takeaway pizza. So he tried out lots and lots of cooks with their pots and their pans and their cookery books. Whee! Look at all those cooks. One by one they cooked for the king. They cooked and they cooked like anything. But nothing they cooked was good enough. This egg is runny. This meat is tough. Too hot, too cold, too sour, too smelly. I don't want sausages in my jelly. This tastes so wrong, said the hungry king. And he frowned and frowned like anything. But then he spotted another cook with feet that shuffled and hands that shook. My name, said the cook, is Wobbly Bob. I'm a bit of a wimp, but I'd love the job. The king thought hard and he scratched his head. I fancy some fish and chips, he said. Yes, fish and chips is my favourite, my favourite dish. But first, you will need to catch the fish. Beard. But a shark might land in the fishing net, or I might get my nice new apron wet. My knees are knocking, the cook declared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terribly scared. I'll help you fish, said the hungry king. So he fished and he fished like anything. He caught some fish that were nice and big. Then he said to the cook, it's time to dig. Help, said the cook. I'm feeling scared. I'd love to dig, if only I dared. But I'm scared of worms, and I'm scared of ants. They might crawl into my nice new pants. My pants are sweating, and the cook declared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terribly scared. I'll help you dig, said the hungry king. So he dug and he dug like anything. Then he said to the cook as he licked his lips, Chop these potatoes into chips. Help, said the cook. I'm feeling scared. I'd love to chop if only I dared. But knives are sharp. heart is thumping, the cook declared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terribly scared. I'll help you chop, said the hungry king. So he chopped and he chopped like anything. Then he said to the cook who was standing by, out for the pan, it's time to fry. Help, said the cook, I'm feeling scared. I'd love to fry if only I dared. But oil can splutter and spit and splat. A drop might land on my nice new hat. My teeth are rattling. <laughs> the cook declared, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terribly scared. What do you think the king's going to do? I'll help you fry, said the hungry king. So he fried and fried like anything. Then he set the table and took a seat. And he said to the cook, it's time to eat. Good, said the cook. So the two men shared. What, what great cooking, the king declared. What well chopped chips, what well fried fish. All in all, a delicious dish. It tastes just right, said the Philip king. And he smiled and smiled like anything. Congratulations, Wobbly Bob. 
You may be a wimp, but you've got the job. enjoyed that story. Once again, that was The Cook and the King, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by David Roberts and published by Macmillan Books. Thanks to those guys for letting me share the story today. See you next time.